So my name is Jill Gamble. I'm Communications Director for Georgia Sea Grant and UGA Marine Extension, the same organization that Karen works for. She um, is in Brunswick and I'm here in Athens. Um, I'm going to be talking today about um, efforts around the Georgia-Florida football game, which I guess you guys have heard about already, um, and how we are trying to change the culture of off-campus off tailgating. So, as you may already know, Georgia and Florida um, play a game every year in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's off campus like that. I imagine you all misbehaved and that <laughs> resulted in, in a neutral location. Um, but tailgaters, or a lot of students, alumni, fans go to St. Simons Island the night before the game and have a party on the beach. About 8,000 people congregate on the beach. Um, and this is sort of what you, it's really typical to see. Um, they leave behind cigarette butts, uh, styrofoam uh, containers, litter. In 2014, over the three-day weekend, Glen County and volunteers collected 27,000 pounds of litter um, from beaches and parking lots and parks. 27,000 pounds, that's a lot of litter, not, not trash, litter. And this is what it looks like in the aftermath of um, once everyone clears the beach. So obviously this is problematic. We don't want this ending up in the ocean. Um, a lot of the water this year, or a lot of the trash this year ended up um, going into the ocean because of high tide, the timing of high tide. Um, and this has implications for marine life and um, just harming the coastal ecosystem. So we first got involved partnering with community organizations and the local government in um, sponsoring a beach suite the day after the, the tailgating. Um, Volunteers show up. In 2014, we had 160 volunteers come and um, clean the beach. But at some point, after a year or two of this, we realized it, it wasn't enough to be reactive and trying to just clean up after folks. We needed to be proactive and try to prevent this from happening in the first place, um, especially as UGA units uh, located on the coast. So we began small scale with a volunteer intern, um, a social media campaign. We started Facebook uh, page, Twitter account, um, or a hashtag. <laughs> uh, we had an online pledge, and I think our Facebook page has almost 2,000 followers right now. The following year, um, we, create, we, we expanded that into a digital campaign. Um, in addition to a social media campaign. This is a, a digital flyer that we used in it and um, also memes. In the first year, I should mention, we doubled, after the first year social media campaign, we doubled the number of volunteers that showed up. So we were reaching some people, but it remained to be seen whether we were actually reducing the amount of trash. And these are some of the other strategies that we've used. Multiple press releases, um, media interviews. We've given a lot of presentations to student groups and to fraternities and sororities. Um, we made flyers that we put in all the hotel, maybe not all, but most of the hotel and um, condo rooms. And um, during the beach tailgating, uh, they had live broadcasts from two different radio stations and we ran PSAs throughout the day. And another initiative from this year, um, or this in 2014's game, we partnered with Parker's Convenience Stores to um, provide an alternative. So a lot of the trash comes from these foam coolers that people bring and then end up, they get broken up, people fight with them, um, and then these little bits of styrofoam are everywhere. So um, Parker's Convenience Store agreed to uh, sell cardboard um, coolers, uh, UGA themed coolers. And if, if students or fans brought in their foam coolers, they could exchange it for free. We also had an outreach booth at the event where um, another type of cooler that they could uh, trade out, basically. And these are some of the students who um, made that choice. <laughs> um, so I think I've given you some of the stats. Hopefully I've not forgotten <laughs> all of them. Um, you know, and a few more impacts. This uh, campaign has reached hundreds of thousands of Bulldog fans, and it's received more media attention than probably any other Georgia Sea Grant or Marine Extension project. Um, 
And one special uh, shout out I'd like to give is um, Pi Kappa Psi fraternity here on campus. They've come out for three years in a row to help out with the beach sweep. Um, they received a special um, recognition, recognition from Glen County government um, in 2013. And then in 2014, they were recognized by the governor. Um, and so we hope that other UGA units, that was something I forgot to mention, that we've been partnering with a lot of UGA units to try to get the word out. So if you work with, um, for a unit or if you're with a unit that you could help this next year, we would love to partner with you to reach more students. And if you have ideas, um, you know, it's still a very big problem. We're, we're trying to figure out exactly um, if we're making an impact as far as trash. So that's one of the next steps is working with Glen County to better track uh, impacts. Thank you so much.